So I'm starting off by mixing two products for my base. I'm using the Time Frame Future Resist Foundation. This has a medium coverage, natural finish, SPF 20. It is beautifully light on the skin and gives you a really glowy, youthful look, which you will see. This is the Pure Light Liquid Radiance in Lunar. This also comes in a darker shade called Halo. This is one of Delilah's best sellers. It is a beautiful highlighter. It can be applied under the skin, as a, uh, under the foundation as a primer. It can be mixed in with foundation, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, and it can also be used just tapped on top of the cheekbones over foundation, again, for that glow and youthful look. It's a really beautiful product. Um, a little goes a long way, so I'm just going to show you how much I would use. I'm just going to pump out one little pump there. You can see the kind of colour that it is. And it's not runny. And then we're going to use the shade Lace for my foundation today. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand. Two pumps of that. And I'm going to mix it using my foundation brush. And then I'm going to apply it to the skin. So like I was saying, this does not look heavy or cakey. This foundation contains ingredients that are um, really good for your skin, like antioxidants. It has your SPF 20 in it. Um, and it can be built up to a high medium coverage, which is what I generally do. So you can see there, I have my foundation on. My skin looks more even and more even skin tone. It looks smooth. Everything's been sort of blurred. Um, and also you can see that glow. So the face doesn't look flat, which sometimes foundation's gonna do, but this one won't do that because it's not heavy. So there's still a bit of shine there on my cheek. Um, so if you want to get an extra boost of um, glow, the foundation already does that, but I love mixing it in for that purpose. The next product is a favourite of many, um, including Pixie Woo, Holly Willoughby and Emma Willis. It is the Microfine um, Pure Touch Loose Powder. It comes in this beautiful rose gold packaging and then it has this really handy mesh inside. So it means that um, it stays nice and clean in there, it doesn't get really messy. This powder is quite special because it's completely um, undetectable on the skin. It doesn't look heavy, so it'll help to kind of absorb excess oils. And it'll help keep your makeup in place, but it won't look powdery or cakey, which is exactly what you want from a powder. Um, it also is has blurring properties, so it's going to help to blur any kind of enlarged pores or anything you might have. So it's a really, really great product. Definitely worth looking, um, looking into. So next I'm going to use bronzer. So this is the Sunset Compact Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium Dark. Just using my... It's a Lila big fluffy brush for this. It's a great um, formula, very soft. And again, it has those blurring um, aspects to it. And it's very easy to blend into the skin. You see there, it doesn't sit on top, it just sort of melts in. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. And for this, I'm going to use the Colour Intense Eyeshadow Palette in Damsel, which comes in this beautiful rose gold packaging again. And it has these lovely um, warm tones. We have a few cool tones in it as well. So just a really versatile palette, really pigmented and the colours last all day. They're really vibrant, they're gorgeous, you'll see in a second. So I'm going to try create a um, Christmas kind of festive um, Christmas party appropriate look. So I'm going to use the palette to do that and I'm also going to use the new reformulated gel line for that, another best selling product. So starting off, I'm going to go in with the lighter colour at the top here, just to set um, my concealer. These shadows are really easy to work with. They're very soft and very smooth. I need a tiny bit. Okay, now I'm going to go into this lovely brown colour in here, kind of a mid-toned brown. Has a little bit of shimmer in it. Just going to build that up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with that darker, slightly purple shade down there. I want something not too um, 
kind of striking on the eye because you want to do a bold lip and a wing. So I'm going to dip into that. And focus that out here. See how pigmented that is. Okay, now I'm going to use that beautiful um, vibrant gold colour there. And I'm going to use it on this one. It's very impressive that they come out this vibrant um, without being on a, a wet base and also um, using a dry brush. So it's a very, very good formula. So now I'm going to do some eyeliner and for this I'm going to use our brand new reformulated gel lines. So this is a beloved product that has been around for a while um, and it now comes in three shades, ebony, ash and sable. So I have ebony. Um, so you can use these um, three different ways. You can use them as a liner, you can use them in your brows as a brow uh, pomade and you can also use it on the eyes as a eyeshadow base. So for today, because I have the black shade, I'm just going to be using it as eyeliner. Um, but if you have um, dark hair or dark eyebrows, you can definitely use this in your brows. So this is a brand new one, so I'm going to open this up. It's a very, very smooth, very soft formula. You're probably um, noticing a pattern here, but just a lot of the products, if you, if you get the chance to feel them, they're very soft. Um, really lovely formula, really lovely to work with. So I'm going to start. <laughs> quick and easy that was to do just one um, dip. Okay so wings are on and now I'm going to do lips. So because we're doing a festive party look it is only um, appropriate that we do a red lip. So for this I'm going to use the liquid lipstick in the shade Flame. This is one of the best selling um, lip shades. It's a vibrant red. Um, this formula is really, really good. It, um, once it dries, it won't budge. And it also contains ingredients that are hydrating, so it's not gonna dry out your lips. So I'm going to use the Delilah lip brush for this. I'm just gonna dip into the red. <laughs> So you can see with that one dip how far that went. It's very opaque. So there we have it on and once that sets down it's going to stay in place and I won't dry the lips out. You might notice that um, red, the red lipstick has made my teeth look really white. That is because it is a blue toned um, red lipstick which makes everyone's teeth look whiter and as well um, just in terms of longevity once that gel eyeliner sets, it will stay in place all day as well. Um, there's a bit of time to kind of, if you wanted to smudge it out, you could do that. There's a bit of play time with it. But once it sets, then it sets for good, which is for good, which is great because it means that you won't get the smudge um, on the upper eyelid from it. So that's everything. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you like the Christmas party look. It's very easy to recreate. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Bye.